Hi, I'm Josh Langley, author and illustrator of the Being You Was Enough series of books for kids, and I'm also passionate about kids' mental and emotional well-being. And I'm Chris Williams, I'm the Secretary of the Children's Book Council of Australia, WA branch. This series is the Reading for the Heart and Mind, mm -hmm. and today we're talking about self-acceptance. Now, I know for myself how important self-acceptance yes. is for everyone, but from your perspective, Chris, how important is it? It's very important because we have to live in our own bodies every day and um, one of the things we need to understand that your personality, your the qualities that make you unique and knowing that those qualities are accepted and valid, things like whether you're short or tall, whether you wear glasses or you're in a wheelchair, <laughs> yes, or um, whether you come from a different country or a different type different of family, yeah. all of those are valid. All of those are enough, which means you are enough. And saying that, I'd like to talk firstly about... I was going to ask you about books. Well, How yes, do books fit into this? Yes, well, here's a fabulous one by an author called Josh Langley. I wonder who that is. <laughs> and it is about being enough. And I'd just like to read a little bit from the book. It says, it's okay to be different. It's okay to look different, to do different things. So don't be afraid to be you because, oh, I've got to find the right page. Being you is enough and you are perfect just the way you are. And that's a message that every kid really needs to hear. And even so. even actually every parent. What other books have we got there that, that um, talk about self-acceptance? I'd like to talk about this one. This is probably for older readers, um, young adult and beyond. It's called Meet Me at the Intersection. And it's a story about diversity. It's about, um, it's written in own voice, memoir, poetry, short fiction. And all the writers within the book are from either First Nation, um, First Nations, people of colour, LGBTQA, or living with a disability or exploring each other's unique That's a um, good diverse range of authors, yeah. Yes, and because it's written by people who experience all of that, it's a really good insight into what it's like mm. um, to be self-accepting and have self-awareness. So I can really recommend that book. What else have we got? I, I love this book. This oh, book, Kitty Black's book. Oh, yeah. this book by yep. Kitty Black is amazing. It's about um, a family of birds who are walking out along through the forest and they find an egg. They take the egg home and they hatch the egg. And when the egg hatches, it's a crocodile. A <laughs> that would be a surprise. <laughs> a beautiful, green, shiny crocodile. Well, they accept it into their home, and but everyone in the forest is actually quite afraid. What are you going to do when it gets bigger? Mm-hmm. What are you going to do when it doesn't fit in the nest? Um, but the crocodile turns out to be, a, you know, a good guy. He's sort of fun and he, he and enjoys he, playing and with And he them. doesn't eat them or anything. And he doesn't eat them or anything. But everyone is still asking, mm. what are you going to do? Why do you keep him around? And I will read you this last page. Well, they say it's not because he's beautiful or helpful or fun. Then why, they asked, why do you keep him? The family replied, because he belongs with us, and that's that. So what a really nice way to end yes. it, isn't it? Just that, yes. that summary, he's just belonging, and I think that yes. the whole idea of self-acceptance, belonging, is just a fantastic concept. Yeah. One last one. Oh, I've got two. Two? Can okay, two? okay, you can do two. Um, <laughs> Self-acceptance and self-awareness is another thing that sometimes um, people or young, young adults are really uh, don't know how to express themselves. Mm. And sometimes, particularly when um, there's a sexual preference involved... Invisible boy, sexual orientation, yeah, yeah. how to deal with it or how to bring it out. This amazing book by Holden Shepherd deals with... It's, it, while it's fiction, it's based on the story of his being gay in a small country community and coming out um, and letting everybody know. And at times it's really hard and really mm. sad, but 
it's very rewarding when you can finally be yourself. So another and book. And that has touched so many lives. It that has. Book, it's incredible. had so much acceptance mm. around the country for mm. telling the story in a way that's very accessible. Yeah, exactly. Um, yep. So I can thoroughly recommend that book. And the last one is another one. This is one of our CBCA shortli- shortlist um, books by Kelly Canby mm. called Little Light. And Little Light is a community mm-hmm. where everything's the same, nothing changes. That would be pretty boring. Yes. Mm. But what starts happening is bricks start disappearing. Okay. And they don't know who's doing it. Yeah. And finally they find out who's doing it. But while this has been happening, they've realised that to the east, they've got people who are different. To the west, they've got people who are different and eat different food. To the north, they've got people who are different and play different music. And to the south, they've got people who eat different food, play different music. Yeah, They're all different. And while the mayor of the town is going crazy saying no no we have to be the same we have to be the same all of a sudden people in the town are saying no we don't have to be the same we love the different food we love the different that's a music. really good message and yeah. so they start they accept everybody that's around them for their differences and what makes them unique and enough fabulous book i love this that one. sounds like an absolute cracker i think There's lots of books already you've mentioned here, Chris, lots of books on the table, and there's lots of books out there that deal with self-acceptance for any age group. And diversity. And diversity, exactly. It's important that kids see themselves in the characters that they read. This is true. So there's, there's plenty of books out there. Where else can we find them? Well, if you go to your local bookshop, like the wonderful bookshop we're in today, if you go to your libraries, um, whether they're the school library or the local library down the road, they're, they're fonts of knowledge. They just know what you're looking for. If you just go in and say, I'm looking, looking for a book about families that are different, they can go straight away and find it to you. Exactly. Also, just go to our website where we'll list all these books. Yep. And links to articles that can help you find um, the books and help you with um, why it's important to see children in books or people in books and how it helps. Exactly. And we'll have everything in the description of this video. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Josh. We'll see you next time. Bye.